All right, we're back at this Toyota Prius, and I still have the fit running over there. It is uh, 50 degrees temperature blowing out of the dash, sitting in the sun over there. It's been about 40 minutes now, and what was it, 50 degrees? And it was 64 degrees interior cabin temperature, sitting in the sun. It's 77 degrees right now, so it's doing good enough. And that's one thing you can do, experiment. When you guys are learning about air conditioning, experiment. And forget the analog gauges, get the digital, get the software, graft it and learn as you're doing. As you're, uh, as you can see, I have, I have all the vents open. I have it in fresh air mode. So I'm loading the car, taking in the warm air, and let's see where we're at right now. So we're showing up here at nearly 30, the superheat is 30. Now this customer said his car's on the last leg and he thinks his, his air conditioning is dying. He bought this used, other one got totaled out. He says his air conditioning he thinks is on the last leg. And uh, let's see what happens. And I have to do the analyzer. Actually, I have not analyzed the refrigerant yet. So I'll do that. And um, let's see if the superheat changes. Let's see if the subcooling changes. Let's look at the suction line. Let's pay attention to the suction line temperature. Right now, the suction line temperature is 66, 67, 64. Okay, so right now it's doing a cycle. It's RP, it's sending the RPMs of the com electric compressor. Remember, this is a high voltage three phase comp electric compressor. It's starting to wind up. Uh, I'm calling for full coal cooling right now. And we have a cycling fan. And with a cycling fan, you'll never have steady numbers because with a cycling fan, it'll constantly be messing with all your pressures. So somebody who's trying to average something out ain't gonna work. All right, so I'm gonna shut this off here so I can do a recovery and let's, let's measure the refrigerant and I'm gonna analyze it first.